from the following data determined in each case minority interest as at the date of acquisition and at the date of consolidation goodwill or capital reserve amount of holding companies profit in the consolidated balance sheet assuming holding companies own profit and loss account to be 2 lakhs in each case yeah, they are given as the subsidiary company the percentage of shares owned the cost of the shares is given the date of acquisition which is 1st january 2016 and on the consolidated date 31st december 2016. so we have to calculate the minority interest minority interest we have to determine on two dates on the date of acquisition which is 1st january 2016 and we have to also calculate on the date of consolidation which is 31st december 2016. goodwill or a capital reserve that will arise on cancellation of the investment in equity shares in the subsidiary and finally amount of holding companies profit and loss in the consolidated balance sheet assuming that the holding company's own p and l is two lakhs of rupees so they have not given us the balance sheet because they have not given us the balance sheet, I will not have to do the first principle of consolidation, which is line by line addition. So I will ignore the first principle. But I will have to carry out the second principle, which is pre and post acquisition analysis. I will have to do the third principle where I will work out the goodwill or the capital reserve, which in our case is the second question. The fourth principle is to get the minority interest, which in this case is the very first question. And yes, we have to also work out the consolidated reserves. So what we do is we first carry out the working for the pre and post acquisition analysis. Then we will solve the questions one after the other. So we say pre and post acquisition analysis of subsidiary. Pre and post acquisition analysis of subsidiary. Yes, we say on 1st January 2016, after 1st January 2016. We do it first for case one. Share capital. Profit and loss account. Right, they have given us 1st January 2016. The share capital is 1 lakh. The PNL is 50,000. And then again, say share capital on 31st December is also 1 lakh, but obviously that 1 lakh will be the one which was there on 1st January 2016. But profit and loss account is 70,000. Earlier it was 50,000, now it is 70,000. So after 1st January, the increase is of 20,000. I take a total 1 lakh 50, 20,000. Is two share capital profit and loss account. Now it is still one lakh. It is another subsidiary company. P and L thirty thousand. But on thirty first, it has become twenty. That means there is a reduction of 10,000. 1 lakh 30, negative 10.
is three. Share capital, 50,000 this time. Profit and loss account, 20,000. It is still 20,000, so no change. 70,000, nil. Finally, case four, share capital, fifty thousand, profit and loss account, forty thousand, fifteen thousand. Ninety thousand and fifteen thousand. So we are ready with the pre and post acquisition analysis of the subsidiary. We will answer part one now, where we will work out the minority interest. The percentage of shares purchased is 90%. So minority interest is 10%. Here 15%. Here 20%. And in case D, we do not have any minority interest at all. <clears throat> so we'll solve it accordingly. Determination of minority interest determination of minority interest we'll say case one, two, three, and four. On 1st January 2016. On 1st January 2016. See, this is the net assets which are there and 10% belongs to the minority shareholders. So I'll do it accordingly. I'll say 1,50,000 into 10%. So we get 15,000. Next, after 1st January 2016. As you can observe, it is 20,000. So 20,000 into 10%, I get here 2,000. So this will give me on 31st December 2016, total 17,000. So on 1st January 2016, my minority interest is 15,000. Then there will be an increase of 2,000. So it will turn out to be 17,000. Here it is 1,30,000 into 15%. So 1,30,000 into 15%, it is turning out to be 19,500. But then there is a negative change, minus 10,000 into 15%, so it will reduce by 1,500. 
so it is 18,000. Then we have 70,000. Here the minority interest is 20%. So 14,000. There's no change. 14,000. In the fourth case, there is no minority interest. So this is the full working of minority interest. Basically, it is answer of part one. The second question, it is to work out the goodwill or capital reserve. Okay. Let's get it now. Part two, determination of goodwill public capital reserve. Goodwill public capital reserve. We work it out for all the four cases. Cost of investment less share in net assets on 1st January 2016. We are supposed to cancel the investment. We know the principle for cancellation of investment is Cost of investment should be compared with the share in net assets on the acquisition date. So that's what we will be doing here. Check the question. They have given us the cost of investment. 1 lakh 40,000. 1 lakh 4,000. 56,000. One lakh. The net assets here is one lakh fifty thousand into ninety percent. Right figures on first January twenty sixteen. One lakh thirty into eighty five percent. Seventy thousand into eighty percent. And this is 90,000 into 100%. So 1 lakh 50 into 90%, 1 lakh 35,000, work out the difference, 5,000. Goodwill. 1 lakh 30 into 85%. 1,10,500. We get 6,500. 6,500 is capital reserve. This is 56,000. So it is nil. This is 90,000. I get goodwill of 10,000. And finally, in part three, they are saying that what will be the balance in the consolidated PNL if every year 
we consider 2 lakhs as the balance in the parent company. Great. So we say part 3. Balance in consolidated profit and loss account. Balance in consolidated profit and loss account. We say balance on 31st March 20. In PNL of H Limited, right? The parent company. They have given that as 2 lakhs. To this, we will add share from subsidiary. Share from subsidiary. I can participate in, right? I can participate in the post acquisition results. So 20,000, negative 10,000 and so on. So that is the share from the subsidiary. So 20,000 into 90%. This is negative 10,000 into 85%. Nothing over here. This will be 15,000 into 100%. So I get here 18,000. So we get two like 18,000 as the balance. This is 8,500 negative. I get 191,500. This is as it is, 2 lakhs. This is 15,000. 2 lakh 15,000. 